Okay. Hello everyone, welcome to The Good Weapon. Bit, bit, bit spooky. Bit frightening. That's a lot of eyes. Um, let's just start. I don't, wait, what's it about? Okay, this is, this is late credits. So, I don't know what this game is about, but it looks interesting, so I, I just downloaded it. <laughs> it's quite, I don't know, it's, it's like, like a good writing, I guess. Um, yeah, let's just play. Are we the bad guys? Of course, sleep replies. But why? Who? Yeah. She's just saying that for courage. She thinks we've fallen so far. But more is another act of violence. And yet, she can't bring herself to use the weapon. Oh. We are anti vigil. We are free. Okay. Sleep. Wake. And you are dreaming. Okay, sleep, wake up and dreaming. Okay, got it. Three, what a lovable number. Anti Virgil used to be number 3000. Okay, great. I don't even know what we're doing. Sleep tries to console you. She says we've been broken before. Imagine us wandering the night. Our football is choked by necessity. Yeah. She talks about the purge. But you were there. Oh shit. She doesn't know. She doesn't know what you've been through, what you've seen. So her voice is soft and full of caution. Our goal is revenge. That's not why you're here. Impatient bites for you at all. What about the weapon? Ignore the weapon. Live your own life. You scoff. Life? Now that's a privilege reserved for ordinary people. And isn't being ordinary the problem? Isn't that why you're here? We're villains because ordinary people couldn't do what needed to be done. What did we do? We were like... Did we kill- what did we do? Did you kill something? Oh good lord guys, oh good lord. Ordinary. Definition? Useless. Lacking. I'm- um, st stop reading if you didn't get it by now. <laughs> to be ordinary was to be lucky. Sleep sits closer. Despite all, she tries to lift your spirits. Just for your hand. Okay. You're silent, so she takes your hand anyway. When she speaks, it's like- when she speaks, it's like a whisper. Soft. Gentle. But no matter her words, the slow death of your country weighs heavy on your mind. Wait, were we killing our country? They mined your valleys into devastation. Black fires. Then in blackened the bones. And with corpses numerous, they stitched up the earth's scars and buried her ruins. They drained your waters and left basins putrid and foul. Theft. Unending theft. Once they learned to extract power from flesh, everyone bled. Nobody saw the blood. They only saw the prophets. Oh my god, is this like, like, about like... I don't know, like exploiting, exploiting the thing, exploiting the world for its resources. Shit, bro. Okay, so we're trying to get, we're against that. And then the Vir and then Virgil was born. Virgil promised judgment and change. You've heard it all before. The words used to be law and order, unity and solidarity. Shit. <laughs> when Virgil promised to save the world, they didn't elaborate on the how. They let your mind fill in the blanks. Never realized how insidious that blank could be. How could something be nothing and everything at the same time? With this infinite justification, Vigil became infallible. They came for everyone. Okay. Promise to save it. Okay. That's why you're hiding in the bunker. You've been, hi you've been biding your time for the weapon to be ready. The weapon? We are anti Virgil. Our goal is simple death. Absolute death for, all for the all encompassing entity infesting the planet. Oh god, okay, we're getting infested, god. No method. The fuck is that? Sleep has a weapon. One that can crack any code, seize any system, rip, in the, rip out any secret. Power like that could really render Vigil's defenses obsolete. A weapon that grants you every other weapon in the world. Can you imagine it? A weapon that promises victory. Pretty we couldn't use it. Or rather, sleep, would, sleep won't let us use it. As sleep says, the weapon extracted a payment must foul. You reiterate your dedication to the cause. Life is but another resource to sacrifice for your goal. So you ask, how fast does the weapon kill you? How much cogn cognitive load does it exact upon the user? You to be able to talk while using it after all. Were you able to relay her nuclear launch codes? You discussed this with Rake already. Twenty nukes fired at each of Virgil's nerve clusters could kill it before Virgil can regenerate. Twenty high yield nukes with radiance with radiance that will scream into the void. 
You and me both know this, uh, this will do more shit than, that more than sit the skies. But is it any different with the horrors now? Once again, you shall sleep the depths of your conviction. Whatever the cost, whatever the horrors, the weapon chooses the exact. All that must pale in the comparison. Virgil must be stopped. Even at the cost of your life. Your life, says Lee. Why would the weapon take your life? What else could exact as payment? I mean, there's worse payments than your life being taken, right? Yeah, there's, there's probably worse payments. What more could you lose? Like, no ability be, to be human? The enemy stole everything. The brightness in your mind, the light inside your dreams. Okay, I got it. You even invited them into your home. We all did. Hoping to placate... Placate the hunger and your thought. What well, they ate and ate. Oh god. Just a little more and I'll leave your partner alone. Oh please. Leave your light alone. Shit. Like everyone else in Anti Virgil, you realize that it's too late that appeasement doesn't work. And it just ends. Okay, that's a bit. Rake is different. Young. Smart. Full of blazing devil. She hasn't been out yet. Like you, she spends every waking moment plotting to kill Virgil. So she's, a she's awake. In her, you find the same anger. Mostly it's heartwarming. Mostly. Together, you feel like you go far. Or burn. Gladly. The two of you ran the calculations. 20 nukes. Each of has to be a three-stage thermonuclear bomb. Bomb capable of causing untold chain reactions. Of course, neither of you take the proposition lightly. Numbers and simulations. You've checked them over and over again. There's no other way. Virgil has 20 nerve clusters spread across the world. As such, 20 is a minimum number. The fallout is part of the creation. It's what com terminates Virgil's nerves. Radiation stops them from regenerating. Oh, don't get cold feet on me, she says. It's what we need to save the world. Okay. Meanwhile, sleep sends, spends every moment inside the weapon room. She offers softly, as with every word she whispers into your ear, that you may use her quarters, quarters if you wish. This is, this is a kindness. It's hard enough hiding from Virgil's watch underground. Harder still when you f can feel this tightening squeeze of your own mind. Everything rests on here. The walls, the doors, the life support systems, maintenance, always maintenance. The suppression fueled even you. So, nobility is a bliss. Nothing new to stop the days from blending together. Yet in her room, they're stunned by an impossible scent. Sleep's room. Oh, flowers! It smells of life. You don't remember the outside world anymore. You've been hiding for vigils for so long. Plotting, always plotting, always trying to kill. You're ready to give in. What's the point? Auntie Virgil's goal is death. Death and only death. So why does this room exist? Why do flowers grow in the labyrinth's heart? How do miracles withstand the erosion of despair? Each of your breasts there is prizal. But nothing comes. Nothing. Except life. Oh shit. Rake strides in and burns it all from your mind. She does it with a single stare. The silverness of eyes are sil silvery grey discs. The termination is set into their genes and blood. Your people call them ill omens, and Virgil took the opportunity to single them out as their initial targets. Oh shit. Virgil took them out first. She didn't offer me her room, she says, Rake. She's not a psychologist. It's cabin fever. You can't diagnose people. She's becoming paranoid. Well, you wonder if she's starting to get sick at the lack of progress. Hi, I have a way of asking you questions. What? She's asking if you're receiving preventable preferential treatment and if you deserve it at all you know sleeps in love with you right oh shit we are anti virgil what matters love what matters dreams or dead people walking what's your excuse this time sleep's been stone run stone rolling awake that happens often the meditator in their arguments break wants to use weapon wants it now oh shit no more delays you say the world with a soul something to save. And am I wrong? You can't help but agree. Auntie Virgil's goal is death. Nothing more, nothing less. Death? Shit. Rake stomps all over the flowers. Why the fuck were you that? I have a plan, she says. I need to distract sleep. Surely she won't let her guard down. It'd be easy. The two of you probably fucking like rabbits behind my back. Um. That's a bit rude. Okay. You're not. But Rick won't believe you anyway. Wait. This reminds me of a book. 
No, it's like... It reminds me of a... Oh shit, sorry. This reminds me of a, like, play, I think. I, f I think it reminds me of a play. It's like, um... Oh no. <laughs> like, when there's like three people trapped in the room and then like, it's like hell or something like that and you can't like, say you. I don't remember, I don't remember what it's called. I know that Good Place was thingy on it. Good Place was based on it. I'll use a weapon. I'll pay the price. She's burning. She's the fire we lost ever since we met to sleep. You? Haven't been doing your part, have you? Are you in? I don't know, man. You tell me. <laughs> you find sleep outside the weapon room. She's crying again. That light itself is a miracle since you have tears have... Well, since your tears have long dried up. The sheltering bunker broke you long ago. Concrete and steel. Artificial light coupled with UV lamps. The same latrine reached gruel over and over and over again. This isn't living. All that's left is death. You try to comfort her, but she touches you first. Gently. She's always been gentle. My room, she whispers. Please. Oh, oh. I can't let you use it. Why not? You can barely hold back your anger. Why are we here if not to use a weapon? She hesitates, and she confesses the truth. The truth. The flaw in the weapon. You can scarcely believe what you're hearing. So the truth. The weapon turns you into a good person. Huh? What? The weapon turns you into a good person. She says it again. The weapon turns you into a good person. A good person cannot kill Virgil. No good person would fire a nuke. They are alone 20. Our goal has to change. It cannot be death. It must not be. Oh shit, really? But if the weapon turns you into a good person, then is it really a weapon? What was it meant for? Why does sleep have it to begin with? Oh. You got it all wrong. The truth. It's not a weapon. And? It was created to make people good. And? It possesses a critical critical flaw. Shit. It grants the user every weapon in the world. But they don't want to use it, bro. Yeah, bro. Sleep takes you with a soft caress. Her nervous breath comes out as a sigh. I want you to remember me. Remember how my hands feel against yours. A trembling grip. She guides her fingers to her cheek. She gasps when you brush against the grooves of her ears. Remember how my heart beats in your presence. Little breaths have a chest. Leave a chest. Her collarbones glisten with sweat. Remember how my scent falls upon your nose. Flowers and flowers and life. It's everything you've lost and more. Do you remember now? She's scared to take the next step. But she's doing her best. Oh my god, Gan. Would you have me? Silly foolish me. The answer with a kiss. Oh shit, man, we have a whole romance when there's a guy, the woman's gonna kill herself or something like that. Oh. Uh. Afterwards, she holds you. She giggles as your nose tickles her neck. You try to say something, but she hushes you. Sleep, she whispers. I love me, love, please dream. Oh my god. Oh my god. And wake. And she's there. You dash out and you're scrambling and you're crashing into the rolls. She's here. In the weapon room. Oh, and she's taking it. Hi, wake. She broke everything. Crowbars, welding gear, all the maintenance equipment and bunker. All gone. All spent for this one moment. The protection against Virgil is gone. She's doomed you. All of you. Don't look at me like that. She whistled dead people walking, aren't we? Shit. Sleep rushes in. No! Don't worry. We're at the bad guys, remember? No, yeah, but you don't have to be. So, I won't become a good person. But you will! She grabs the weapon, practically grips it, then sinks her claws in deep. Huh? I've done it. I've conquered the weapon. With the absolute knowledge granted to me, I had not turned to good. I had resisted the call and saw each and every one of you beautiful beings. And I still, I should choose death. Death above all. Yes. Dead. I rake once more. A new Virgil for humanity begins now. Using 200,000 nuclear weapons. That's not, that's too much. Identify Virgil nerve clusters. 
Buses interlink searching. Identify virtual rogue point. Error. 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 Unable to complete task. 18 out of 20 clusters identified. Missing critical clusters. Possibility of virtual regeneration guaranteed. Solution. Fire all 200,000 nukes. Probability of virtual death 89.7%. Accessible margins. We will take the risk. Arming nukes. Launching. Death above all. Shit. What? Have. You. Done. Oh dear, she, she shot her. Sleep. Oh, we were. So close. To our goal. And she's dead. Oh god. Oh, yep, dead. Yep, I see. I see that. Yep, mm hmm. Why? Sleep's gun cuts, cuts an arc for the air. Now it's pointed at you. I didn't expect her to use you against me. Oh my god. But you understand now, don't you? Sleep made a weapon. Which means sleep made Virgil. I didn't want you to use it. But now there's no other way. Your turn. You'll either become part of Virgil, or be freed from them. That's why you have red eyes. You walk towards the weapon. Your fingers tremble with a smooth outer shell. It's pearl white, like an egg. An egg that clutches the infinite. My breath escapes you. You close your eyes. You try to remember the flowers. The moment your fingers touch the weapon, your body jolts. Shoot. You become a hotspot. A rolling, bowling fountain of energy surges through you like in a steady barrage. You have become the earth itself, or its unfathomably large and interconnected network of life. You see everything. Because you are everything. Dark waves wave <laughs> raw and heavy pull you through a millennia of stutter and rock. Oh, this world is stuffed full of humans. I thought they were all dead. You see the purpose they built for themselves, how they chain others into a unified nation of freedom. It is blunt, misguided, and everyone is throwing in their own coordinates, serving and sputtering in all directions as the grand engine of humanity fires and fires. It is life. It is wonderful. Shit. You dive into this bubbling vat of humankind. You see those who would burn. Like Rake. So much like Rake. Never ending fires, never ending fight. You were like that once. You would have died by now. You would have gone mad. You would have burnt yourself just to set Vigil on fire if it wasn't for sleep. And you find this fallen on your knees. Protected in defense. Deference. Hoping to be spared. Thinking they'll live ordinary lives again. Uh, did I get shot? There's a presence here too. Something. Tickling at the edges of your consciousness. What? Tendrils. Seeking their way in. Help me. You felt it looming. Ever since you touched the weapon. Oh, what's happening? Get away, get away, get away. Don't turn around. Don't look. Hello? Oh, what's happening? Why is it red? Behind you. Another one so soon. Come. That is enlightening you to your true purpose. Your vigil begins now. What's happening? What? Oh, hi, Earth. Welcome to the unending watch. Behold the power of omniscience. Behold perfect judgment. The world cannot be trusted to lead itself. Riots in the streets protest unending. The demand for new rights, new freedoms, and change. Always change unending. Dissatisfaction. Fuck, I can't respond. There are follies. These are distractions, but Virgil can bend humanity to a new world order. Our unending watch is absolute. Each individual will be judged. Believe in efficiency. Believe in perfect design. Oh, I don't think this is good for society, guys. Your turn. This shall serve as a test. Enact your judgment upon these fear. That's the point. Name Yu Kang Kung Ran. Single mother going blind due to cataracts. Crystal eye surgery is 16 times a monthly pay. Has caused multiple incidents of work, has burned herself cooking for a child. Has applied for surgery six times and has been rejected repeatedly for lack of funds. Should the state pay for her surgery? Yes! Shit! Incorrect. Why? Should the state and the powers will, will that me be 
No, need not make concessions. Her well-being is none of our concern. A child shall be absorbed into a state program that allocates work based on their age and assigned sex. Oh, we are like absolute system, bro. We shall send someone to reprocess our child now. Disappointing. Perhaps you do not yet understand. What, do, what, what am I doing? Oh, Virgil speaks. You are working towards your goal. Virgil's weak point is oh, it's near clusters. We have found clusters 1 and 2 out of 20 spread around the world. It's devastating difficult even with the power of Nissians. The other half of your gaze is split across multiple, multiple military bases across the world. You're not going to kill the nerves and clusters after all. There. 200,000 of them armed and ready. Awaiting coordinates. No delays. Okay, 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 okay. The next episode awaits. Name Erman Boyak, CEO. Possessing 1.2 million employees, trapped in bondage. Give or take 200,000 more that can be fired and refreshed at a moment's notice. The workers are coming for their rights. The demands are larger, only in number. Incredible how the screed alone succeeds in volume. The shareholders demand an ending growth. Their request is a tremor. Humor, he has delivered. It succeeds not because of his actions, but from his intrajudicity in of the company before he took over. Is he a relevant person in society? Yes! Correct! I told you! It's always the wrong option! This year fulfilled his goal of delivering value to his shareholders. An excellent res result. The Kaisika for German is a result. Okay. The result is the only thing that matters. Virgil's voice almost managed to shut away the screams of 1.2 million workers. Almost. We get to notice a lapse in the omniscience. We get to notice gaps in Virgil's gaze. Virgil's nerve clusters are interlinked. When you find cluster 3 and 4, you also find 5 and 6 and 7 more. You find the coordinates of each cluster the moment you find them. The nerve clusters are can move at mark 0.48 but require 14 minutes to activate. They can't detect you unless you fire. Okay, your nuclear network is never more than 42 minutes away from a cluster. The shockwave travels faster than Mach 3. Anti virtual goal is death. Death is guaranteed. You just need to find the remaining nerve clusters. Keep searching. Don't give up. Remember your goal. Okay, okay, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get this, the next one wrong. Judgment is just not right. No, let's get it right. I don't know if I can show you it wrong or right. The next subject must be processed. Name, Zhao Xing. Xing? That's not necessary for days. His brain's a fog. He's called out of bed twice, but he doesn't remember. There's no sunlight in this concrete jungle. His only window looks out to another wall. He tries so hard, so very hard, and you know that no nobody can ask for more. You are focusing on the wrong details. Search for the results. Proceed to judgment. I bet you need your actions. <laughs> I don't want to! He's, he exists in a constant state of lethargy. I'm gonna quiet the mo music down a little bit, guys. Oh my god. He slightly doesn't understand this. This information is unneeded. It's something just in him nevertheless. And so are we. There are no opportunities in a small town because all the factories move overseas. His parents call him useless. He is an upfront up front to our society. He is not. He cannot move to a city where all the jobs are because the rent is too high. Besides, he wouldn't know how. He needs help. He needs guidance. His parents say back in the day they went through two wars but still succeeded in life all alone. So you do see the difference. His parents are ashamed of him. They expect him to be married, have his own house, and at least two children by now. This is a bare minimum. Is it a predicament his fault? Yes, I have to get it right, right? Correct. Society must be cleansed of these asocials. I don't think so. Human race is divided by nature into sheep and shepherds, so they're not. We will create an absolute natural community where only the elite is succeed. There's some people are complicated. We shall send someone to reprocess him now. New ideals will be inserted for natural, national productivity. That is so messed up. Now, more than ever, Virgil must be eliminated. And yet, where is it? No matter how far you cast your gaze, you can't find your final nerve clusters. It's like Rake. Clusters 19 and 20 are somewhere hidden from your missing gaze. We're not played. You cannot fire unless you destroy them all in one go. Virgil will regenerate over eyes. Time is running out. Find them. You're in the calculations. By nature, Virgil's nerve clusters must be interlinked. So it doesn't matter if you can't find them. You have a good grasp of where they'll likely be. Yes. You can brute force their de destruction. You can brute force stuff into this world. After all, you have 200,000 of these nuclear fuckers. Oh god. Get ready to fire. anti Fudge's goal has always been death. Absolute death. Do you understand me? You can't use a weapon. Well, I'm using it anyways. Our goal has to change. It cannot be death. It must not be. Sleep's words don't matter. You just need to show her the result of your conviction. You just need to see. And I'm Virgil now. <laughs> the result. The critical for judgment is the result. What is the result? You cast your missing gaze down outward. No need to fire the nukes to see the result. It's right here. So, you go to space. Oh shit, man, it's me! You throw yourself into it. Behind you lies a narrow, limited path of your missing gaze. 
I saw the puzzle clouds. I had punched through the atmosphere. I had reached the school without firing a single nuke. Your own space. You are surrounded by zeros. The zeros confuse you. The truth confuses you. You've always been fascinated by space. You have loved the stars ever since the bright few managed to shine among the smog. Their light promised creation and beauty and the next step for humanity. But you're surrounded by zeros. Zero rate. Zero gravity. Zero air. Zero beauty. Zero life. Oh shit. Our goal has to change. It cannot be death. It must not be. Oh. You're screaming. The zeros engulf you utterly. As suffers you with a wretched and ruthless truth, there is nothing here. Oh, this is the result of your goal. But down there... Warmth. Down there? Oh my god. Don't do this to me, man. Oh, okay. A million billion numbers are not zero. He said them- Oh my god, man. He said them a firm comfort and a stand against the deafening silence. This is all we have. This small planet, hurt and wounded, but nevertheless full of love and nature. You watch as the biomass of the planet ticks her towards zero. You watch, as a, you watch his slow funeral. Ah, you finally understand. How could you have pointed 200,000 nuclear weapons at the last moment of beauty yet left? Oh my god! You're surrounded by so many zeros, it feels like infinity. How could your goal happen to end more? Shit, man, you have to scare me like that. We see you. We finally see what you've been doing. We're still screaming. This cannot be the end. Even with the weapon, you fail. There has to be something you can do. We will find you. There must be another way. No escape. If there is, then you're guaranteed to find it. You're omniscient. You delight the inevitable. Shit, man. This is a matter of casting a gaze in the right direction. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Bitch, can't hide them. All courses must be by nature interlinked. So long as you repossess the weapon, you remain on our grasp. Focus. Allies the network. Look where they should be. Where the si sites of cluster 19 and 20 must be. You don't believe it. The sites are empty. Someone has attacked Virgil before. A feat you believed utterly impossible. You have torn two nerve clusters from this absolute entity without the possibility of regener regeneration. Virgil's not absolute. Virgil can be killed. What's more, Virgil is being killed by people. No more people. Oh my god! Ordinary people. Ordinary. Definition? Incredible. Oh my days! Resilient. You don't get it. You know you don't understand. But you must. Oh my god, I cry. Ordinary people are full of life. Not like sleep. Not like wake. Not like you. The three of you are burnt husks. The three of you are zeros. You've been extraordinary in your determination to kill Virgil. We've let the beast infuse every waking moment of your life. Even in sleep, you dream of the monster. The truth? It's not a weapon. It makes it use a good person. By giving them perspective. Oh my days! I'm gonna cry. Do you understand me? You see the enemy. You see the method. You see the madness. You let go. Have the weapon. You lose your omniscience. You lose your goal. That's okay. Because you'll find another. I'm gonna cry. Have you come back? Yes. Did you understand me? Yes. Oh my days. You'll fight Virgil. We'll keep fighting until the end, no matter what comes. But every now and then, we're going to take a break. She takes Sleep's hand. She gasps. She squeaks even and drops the gun. Eyes are tears. You hold her, gently. You whisper, softly, into her ears. You take her to the exit of the bunker. I'm gonna sob, I'm gonna sob, bro. You told her that you're going to be a little selfish, and that's okay. You told her that we're going to attend to our new needs. Oh my god! We're going to live. You told her that we're going to be happy. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to dream. Thank you for playing. Oh my god, you're making me stop here. A game made by Madeline Rue, sprites by Rebecca Tan, backgrounds by Tanaying 
uh, additional art by Lucius Co. Sound art by Eric Leaf, sorry, but mispronounced these. Um, special thanks to Demon How Dare You Put Me the Carrots Reese, <laughs> Rikuria, and then um, Eric Guru. And let's sob. I'll see you around. That was the good weapon, guys. That was so different. It changed the background. Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Okay. That was, that was, um, that was great, guys. Um, I love the, I love the, um, I love the story. That was a really good story. I was about to sob. I love the artwork as well. That was really good. Um, this, I feel like this says a lot about, I don't know, society. <laughs> That's just a basic thing to say, but I really enjoyed it. It was so, like, it just, like, it just says a lot about how we can, how we can, I don't know, be better people. <laughs> and, yeah, it's possible. <laughs> that was good. That was good, okay. I really enjoyed that. Um, <laughs> okay, that was a good weapon there, guys. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. So goodbye to the other one. Goodbye, goodbye.